Hello everybody, I'm Roadblock and this is a Raid Shadow Legends video, or as I like to call them, a Roadblock Rant. Who? I'm sure most of you have already seen some videos about what I'm going to talk about, but I feel like I have some particular insight relating to this as a free-to-play player, and I really want to share that insight with you guys because I gotta be real with you, they butchered one of my favorite events. Like, what have you done with my boy? You know? Like, I... People would always say the summon pool events are not free-to-play friendly, and I totally agree with that. But they were still fun as a free-to-play. They were exciting. I had an opportunity to get a free sacred shard with that had limitations, right? I couldn't pull it whenever I wanted. I had to pull it during this, and it gave me access on any of my accounts to epics epics that i might want maybe they're epics i want for the lady mikage fusion maybe they're epics that are really good like a geomancer for example or even even in this like a dicey would really be good on this account and then you have uh rector draft who would be good on this account this is the ninja account that i'm referring to even doom priest and aox while very niche could actually be i think pretty interesting early on um Again, I do think this is a pretty niche champion, and I use him on my main account for one specific boss. But um, And then Mordecai is amazing as well. So it is a little frustrating um, that they made the change. But what is the change that they've made? I'm, I'm sitting here complaining about what they've done to Summon Rush. Let me, for those of you that haven't heard the news, talk about what has happened. And I'm going to... I'm going to over-explain a little bit, because I do have some of my audience that... Um, a friend of mine in particular who will probably leave a comment now uh, that watches my videos uh, out of respect for me just because my friend but doesn't know what I'm talking about half the time. So every so often, I'd say maybe two weeks or so, and it's probably a time to it. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. But every so often they do this event called a summon pool. And during this event, you can buy these prism shards using real dollars, as you can see here. Or you can earn them in events. Now, usually you could earn up to two, right? And that would give me, uh, the, it's, the reason it's called a summon pool is when I pull this prism shard, I get to pull from this pool of champions. So, so if I get an epic champion, and I'm guaranteed to get an epic champion at minimum, a 94% chance for epic and then 6% chance for legendaries, this one being an extra, not an extra chance, but... Um, if I happen to pull this one, then this only goes away. I can only get one copy of it. That's why it's that special 2%. But um, that's kind of how this event works. Now, it used to be you could get up to two of these prism shards. Well, they've taken that away. So if you look at the tournaments, you will see here that um, if it'll load because I am running three versions of the game, so my stuff loves to take its sweet time. But usually it would coincide with a Sand Devil tournament, and in that tournament you would see that you could get usually enough shards for one shard pull out of Sand Devil, and then there would also be what's called a Dungeon Divers down here in the events, and in Dungeon Divers there'd usually be one here too. Okay? Now... What they've done, instead of getting enough for a full pull from, from, the, from the Sand Devil and a full pull from Dungeon Divers, they've changed it and that you get half from Sand Devil and half from the Dungeon Divers, meaning you have to do both events to pull only one. So they've now reduced it from being one that you could pull, or sorry, two that you could pull to one. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. This was fun for me. Now, the problem, and, and, and I want to be clear about kind of, well, why is this a big deal? Just, you know, it's not that bad. Okay, you, they took your chances from two down to one. Well, the reality is that as a free-to-play player, I only ever did one anyways. I would do the Sand Devil one and because Sand Devil was pretty easy to farm. Um, even at the level that I'm at, I need 1,600 points. You can see I've been doing a little bit of the farming. We're going to talk about how my free-to-play is going to... I'm going to save that for my free-to-play specific video. This is a rant about the overall thing. 
but you'll see 1600 is what I need. Well, if we go into Sand Devil, which I can do at this early on my account, I'm only a month into the account, I can do stage five and I can do it pretty quickly. Here we go. I'm just going to run it. This is a very basic team. I've got nothing crazy in here. I've got I've got a level 40 rare and um, a level 50 epic that's not even fully leveled to 50 yet, right? So we come in here. This is pretty easy to do. Burn him down, right? Like, whatever. And then you're going to see that at the end of it, the points that I get, once we kill him here, so we get... 28 points for that and that cost me 20 energy okay so i'm making eight more points than i am sorry uh per 20 energy right i'm gaining eight points every time i spend 20 energy so after roughly three runs i've gained a free run so it doesn't cost me 1600 energy it costs me less now i don't know the math on that i'm not going to bother to do that but the point is that it doesn't cost me that much energy it, for those of you that don't, don't really know like how much is a lot of energy 1600 over three days isn't that bad it really isn't um i can totally make you know get that from my ener my free energy re resources that i get the problem is that doing Sand Devil, you don't get any points for Dungeon Divers because the way that they score points for Dungeon Divers is based on the artifacts that you get. And Sand Devil doesn't drop any artifacts or accessories. And so you'll see you get points based on the rank. I'll move myself a little bit here. Based on the rank of the item. Right? And so you'll see the points are over here. So getting higher ranking and higher level items these are the levels of the items up here equal more points okay well that is much harder to do and three thousand points now on average depending on where you're farming and efficiency and and all that stuff you're probably getting i think it's like 0.7 or 0.8 for a dungeon divers point per energy so while i just said that i'm getting eight extra energy every run here i'm getting i don't really want to do the math on it but uh i'm getting 0.2 less energy for every 0.2 point less points for every energy that i spend something like that the, the it, it depends on where you're farming right it's not an exact number i'm just throwing out kind of an example so this is going to be more like 3,200, 3,500 energy, depending on where you're farming. Um, it could even be way more than that, right? This is a lot of energy. I never did this. You know, I was excited. Hey, I get one shot at a legendary. I get one shot at a good epic. I'll take that shot. Give it to me. That sounds like fun. But when you do this, this sucks. Like... You know, this is too much energy for a free-to-play account. And certainly too much energy for slightly more evolved free-to-play accounts to be using right before a fusion. Which is in four days, I'm going to have to spend way more gems than I want to spend just to get half of what I need. Oh, and I can't farm them at the same time because Sand Devil doesn't give me points for this either so i'm not even we're not even talking about at this point we're not even talking about 3500 energy we're talking about 35 plus the 1600 which would be more like probably 14 or 1500 energy it's talking nearly 5000 energy in a three-day period it's 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 nuts and it's not fun either because what has to happen in order for you to generate this, right? Is that you're spending your gems on energy and you're setting your game on auto battles. Or, and if you're free to play and you don't want to spend your gems, you're going to try and do as much of it over passive energy game. So what does that mean? That means for me, for this account, I have um, 
a way it's uh, RSL helper can farm using what I call passive energy gain, right? Um, basically meaning that as this energy ticks up every, every three minutes, you get one energy, okay? And so you can have a thing that will run every time you get enough energy to run the dungeon, it'll run it for you. And so that means while I'm at work, while I'm sleeping, it'll run. But the problem is that with the way that they're doing this, that means that when I actually want to be actively playing the game, when I want to be in here, min-maxing my heroes, leveling up gear, moving that gear around, picking and choosing what dungeons I want to pursue, um, strategizing clan boss teams, testing clan boss teams, testing Hydra teams, playing the game. Instead, I need to be in a dungeon. I need to be in a dungeon farming because I need to spend, in order to optimally be able to do this, I need to spend every single second of this game farming these dungeons or else I'm not going to be able to complete this very short, tiny event and be wasting my resources to try and go and get a chance at this. And while this has never been free to play friendly because spenders can buy a ton of these and I only ever got two, one in actuality, but it was still fun for me. I looked forward to these summon pools. I was excited about these summon pools. These were fun for me because I had a chance it was gambling and it was gambling without spending too many of my resources as a free to play. And now they've taken that away from me. They have completely stripped. I'm okay. This is super pay to win. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, right? The big spenders, they see this girl right here. This is Harima dominant force in arena right now. Harima is amazing. One of the top champions in the game. Whales will be buying these prism shards and going all out for this to get as many copies of Harima as they can get so they can get their plus fours. They can get extra copies. They can do everything because she's just that good. There's also other good champions in here, um, but I don't want to make the video too long. But I used to be okay with that. I don't care about what these whales and krakens do. You know, I just want I want to have fun. Because they make the game happen, so let them let them spend their money and give me a way to enjoy my time in the game, right? Give let let me have this one thing where I can like, I can grind through these dungeons and get a chance once or maybe twice to pull a really cool champion and get a nice little head start on my account, right? That's fun. That's exciting. That's raid chat. That's what raid shadow legends should be, in my opinion. But what they have done by limiting how a free-to-play player can go about it to the length that they've done it is infuriating. I am very, very upset. Um, I'm not going to do any of these events on my main account or my main free-to-play account. Now, on the Ninja account, I am going to try. And that's partly because I need the power-up. I mean, an epic... These are really good epics. I don't want to miss out on them. Um, and so I'll give it a shot. But I do not care about this event. This event is now basically done. Um, I'm not, I already wasn't spending money on this event on my main account. I'm certainly not going to now. And honestly, they made it better for spenders. Like there is a mercy system in it. It doesn't carry over. I don't like that. But they made it a little bit better for spenders, but for me, even on my main account, which I do spend money on, I'm not going to be out of almost out of protest at this point because I'm so upset at at this. This is just it they they took some of the fun out of the game for me and my enjoyment. And I know that, you know, I'm one person. It's not that big of a deal. Who cares? Play and the comments I always see from you guys are, it's Plarium. Of course they did this. Of course they did this, right? It's, you know. Well, listen. Players can only take so many, of course they did this, you know? Like, at some point, things are going to tip over. And I got to tell you, if it wasn't for me being a content creator and loving making content and doing this kind of stuff... Um, and having the type of community that I have, this is the type of thing that I'm not joking. I'm not trying to be like, 
woe is me or, or doom or anything like that. But this is the kind of thing that would make me like take a step away from a game. You know, I'm honest. Content creation is, is a big, like world of Warcraft. This game filled world of Warcraft for me. Like I stopped, I got tired of world of Warcraft. I stopped playing it. And I happened to come across Raid Shadow Legends, and for the last two and a half years, maybe three years, I don't really keep track of it anymore, but this game has filled that void. This has become my main game, this has become my daily driver game, I play it all the time, right? A new expansion for World of Warcraft came out. I am itching to play it. I want to play it so badly, and... If it wasn't for content creation, I probably would be playing it. But I got to tell you, if this happened and I wasn't a content creator, I'm probably saying, you know what? I don't, I don't like this. There, this is too much. And this would have been the deal breaker for me. Now, this may not be the deal breaker for you. This may be business as usual. You may be saying, well, you know, whatever. It's Plarium. We knew they would do this. Hey, that's fine. Okay, this is just my opinions. These are just my thoughts. I'm just sharing my experiences. That's all. But I think if you're going to have this event in the game, I think that's perfectly fine to have this summon pool event. I already said that earlier. But give the free-to-plays a little something. That's all I'm asking. Just give us a little bit of something. It doesn't hurt anybody. And so I have some theories as to why maybe this happened. I'm willing to bet that maybe they expected this to perform better monetarily, but the, without a mercy system, it wasn't very advantageous for players to pull during these events. So they knew better and didn't spend their money. So they're like, well, let's add a mercy system. But if we do that, we don't want the free to plays to benefit from it, which we wouldn't anyways, because it resets. I just don't see why they did this. Actually, I tried to make it make sense in my head just now as I was talking. And then I realized like the mercy system doesn't even matter. I would get two chances. The mercy system never takes effect and it resets next time you do this. Why can't I have two shots? I don't understand. You... So I'm, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. And uh, I wanted to just put that out there. I really did. Because I, I don't know that I've been this mad at Raid Shadow Legends in a long time. So, um, anyways, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, thank you for all the support. Thank you for being all the subscribers. Um, if you like my content, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I promise you, I don't go on these rants too much. But I really wanted, well, I try not to go on these rants too much. Uh, they happen more often than they should, I'll admit. But um, I do try to not go on these rants. But if you uh, like my content, please consider subscribing. Also, let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? You know, how do you feel? Am I, am I being overdramatic? Am I being, you know, too much about it? Um, and be sure to like the video as well. We'll try and get this out there. I would really like Plarium to hear this message. I don't think they're going to hear my message, but the community's message, like, hey, we're not cool about this. Like, we're not okay with this, you know? You wanted to make Dungeon Divers more energy? Fine. You wanted to make these things more? Fine. But we liked the way this was, you know, you added Mercy? Great. You took it away from the free-to-plays? Not so great, okay? <laughs> um... So, uh, the last thing I want to say is I am making a small push right now. Um, so over on Twitch where I don't currently stream, but over on Twitch every September, they do a thing called September where they're like a big promotions for people subscribing and stuff. Well, while I'm not streaming there, I kind of want to keep that like, uh, spirit of that event alive so for this month the month of september i will be you know asking for people to consider becoming a member of the channel i offer two different price points three dollars and five dollars um if you become a member and you watch my live streams you won't see ads um i'm working on trying to figure out a way to do shout outs for my members like you know like a credit roll at the end or something like that but if you were interested if you ever thought of like man i like roadblocks content i wish i could support him a little bit more than a subscription the best way to do that would become a member or even gift a membership right uh sometimes that's all it takes somebody sees a membership happen in chat or a gifted membership and they go oh that's that's cool i want to be a member i want to i want to help him out with a little bit of you know a tiny little bit of money so um i realize this is a free-to-play channel and not everybody here is about spending money on 
stuff that doesn't actually help you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I, I do want to ask because the, the more that I can get supported monetarily, the more content that I can make on a consistent basis, uh, the higher quality content I can make as well. So anyways, enough about that. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. One last thing before I forget, because I almost did, I am going to be live streaming Tuesday night will be shard pulls. I'm pulling void shards on the free to play accounts. And then when, uh, Wednesday morning stream, which is at 10 o'clock and Thursday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So 930 Eastern time, Tuesday night, and then Wednesday, Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern time and Thursday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern time. I have live streams. Tuesday is shard pulls and then account takeovers on Wednesday and Thursday. So please come be a part of those. I'm very excited about those. They're always more fun when we have people there hanging out. So please come see those. Check those out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.